I'm Savannah, this is Cleaver Cooking, and today we are making buttermilk mashed potatoes. Cause they're the best kind of potato. They do star. All right, so now potatoes. We have a few options here. Um, russets, eh, not so much my favorite. They're fine, they'll do in a pinch, but if you were to like make mashed potatoes with russet potatoes or with some red or Yukon gold potatoes, you'd taste the difference. So I recommend going red or Yukon gold for these mashers, but you know what? Whatever you gotta be fine. Um, we're doing a recipe today for two pounds of potatoes. Got them rinsed. And then I'm just gonna come through here and check where's the one with the, yeah, like that. We're gonna cut that off. We don't really want that in the food, but the rest of it can just stay on. Take it away. So just inspect, take off anything that looks crummy. I like to leave the peels on mine if it's a red or yellow potato because the peels get kind of soft and they just provide a little bit of texture. And that's how my great grandma used to make them. My great grandparents had a little garden out back by their driveway and uh, we would follow my great grandpa through his little potato garden. He'd dig them up with a shovel and we'd have an empty, one of those like great big ice cream buckets. We'd come, we'd pick up the potato and put it in the bucket. Then my grandma would cook them and she left the skins on and I think she was right. So once you've, you know, inspected them, got them to your satisfaction, we're just gonna go ahead and chop them up. And you just wanna shoot for the pieces to be kind of the same size so that they cook at the same rate. And I think like, you know, like that's a pretty decent piece. That's gonna cook pretty quickly, but it's not like minuscule. It's not gonna get waterlogged and lost in there. Just chop your pots up. Huzzah. It's never here when I need it. All right, so cooking your potatoes. Um, best practice is really to put your potatoes into a pot, cover them with cold water, and then bring that up to a boil because it slowly kind of brings up the starchiness. And it just is like a, gives you a little bit better potato, but you know what? Sometimes I'm in a rush and I just don't care and I throw them right into boiling water. So this is like, you know, if you have time and you want them to be perfect, but if you throw it into boiling water, life will go on. All right, just cover them by a couple inches. Get the heat on, add some salt. I really love to salt my potato water, similar to pasta water, cause it, it absorbs and it seasons your potatoes while they're cooking. Okay, hard part's over. Last thing you need to do is get out your cream and your buttermilk and just let them sit out. Get out your butter too. That way we're not adding a bunch of cold shit to our warm potatoes. Isn't that the thing at Thanksgiving? It's like, how do I keep the potatoes warm? I don't know. All right, so we've been cooking these potatoes for like, I dislike going by time. It's never a great thing. It's good to have as like a general measurement of like, okay, these are probably gonna take like 25, 30 minutes from the time I put them in. But really you wanna check and see like, when are the potatoes done? When are they tender? That's how you know. So um, you wanna just cook them until they're kinda like, I mean, fork tender is the term and it's a pretty good one. Like right, that cut through like butter, but this is also a very sharp knife. And so we're just gonna see here. It's like, are they smooshable? I think they're pretty smooshable. So that's done. Now we're just gonna drain them off. That's moist. We're gonna use the same strainer we used to rinse them in. Save a dish. And then I'm just gonna throw them right back in the pot. I'm not concerned if a little water comes with me because I don't want them to like burn to the bottom. So a little water kind of helps with that. Not a lot of water, mind you. You don't want freaking watery potatoes. That would be gross. So as soon as you get them back in here, I got my four tablespoons of uh, butter. I just cut it up because it uh, softens a little bit faster. And then just go ahead and start to break them up. I'm a big fan of the hand mash. Technically, some people, some chefs will get like real all up on their high horse about using an electric mixer to beat your potatoes because um, it can make them a bit gluey, which is not an appealing texture. But you know what? My other grandpa, we would just, you know, at Thanksgiving on the floor, we'd get, we'd have this of a huge family, huge stock pot of potatoes. We'd get them, we'd cook them, we'd drain them. They were definitely russets. And then we'd get the electric mixer and there's no room on the counters anywhere. So we'd plug it into the wall and we'd sit cross-legged on the floor, just for like half an hour. And you know what? They were delicious. It's fucking mashed potatoes. So 
you whip them or mash them or do whatever that your heart tells you to do. But I like to add the butter immediately because it's gonna stop them from burning to the bottom. It's going to melt the butter and it's gonna get the butter a little bit incorporated in here. And you don't need to like mash them to death right now. We're just trying to get them broken up, get that butter a little bit incorporated. So now I've got six tablespoons of heavy cream and I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for like 20 seconds, warm it up. All right, so we just want it warm, not hot. You can just stick your finger in it. Yep, that's pretty good. And then the buttermilk you do not want to microwave because if you heat it past a certain point, it will curdle and that's not very nice. So I'm just gonna add six tablespoons of buttermilk to these six tablespoons of heavy cream. Now it's all kind of warm and nice. In it goes. <laughs> if you're looking for like a light nut mashed potato, you're gonna be like, oh, I could just use less. Like, you should probably find a different recipe. Oh yeah, look at that, that is getting real nice. So now to keep things super fucking simple because it's mashed potatoes and they just don't need to be that complex, we are gonna do a teaspoon of granulated garlic which is like the same thing as garlic powder, except it's a little bit different, nicer. I don't know, that's what the folks at the spice shop told me. And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. I'll take it, thank you. Teaspoon of onion powder. Oh. Should have done the salt first, but here we are. Teaspoon of course, kosher salt. If you have like a finer salt, maybe do a little bit less to start with. And you can make these as, I like some, you know, I like it to be a little bit of texture. I like the peel. I like there to be a few chunks that aren't totally mixed into oblivion. So this is like looking pretty good to me right now. This is very hot and very broken. We lost the top piece. We lost a screw. It's going on the Christmas list. Okay, give it a taste. That is so good. Does it need anything? Maybe just like a little remains of the heavy cream there, but I'm not even gonna put any more salt in because that was plenty. That never happens. I'll leave it in the fridge for a day and then I'll take it out and be like, man, it needs more salt and put more salt in. One more taste. I think it's there, it's done. No perfection, it's exactly what I want. If you like black pepper in there, add some black pepper. Now we just gotta plate it up. Get rid of all this. but probably fine. Here we go. Oh. Every last little bit of goodness out of there. This could technically feed four people, a half pound per person, but let's be real. I could definitely take down half of this all by myself. You know, it's like, I don't want it to be too perfect. I just want it to just mash potatoes. Now to finish this off with, some chives would be really lovely. We don't have any chives. However, I do have some time and just a bit more butter. This is purely for the photo. You don't need to add anything like this, like else to these. They're just, they're good. They're fine. A little bit of time, a little bit more time. She is beauty, she is grace, she is going in my face. That's it y'all, thank you so much for watching. This is Buttermilk Mashed Potatoes and, yeah, Buttermilk Mashed Potatoes and this is Cleaver Cooking. Subscribe!